The Sooner Rover team is proud to present our brand new rover for URC 2025. Our team of engineers and scientists has spent the last year designing and fabricating a double bogey rover to replace our Marzicod design. This new rover still allows us to navigate difficult terrain, but greatly increases our mounting space and our ability to adapt to future rule changes. At Mission Control, the rover is operated using a single remote control using a button that cycles between several control modes. A 2.4 GHz antenna is used for communication between the rover and Mission Control for distances exceeding a kilometer. Our custom video streaming program is highly flexible, running a web server on the rover's embedded NVIDIA Jetson Aura Nano computer. Multiple camera streams may be viewed concurrently, and different video feeds from around the rover can be selected through the web interface. The wheel electronics inside the electronics box have been updated and are now composed of two motor controllers, one for each side of the rover, which are controlled with separate PWM signal wires. In the Find Manipulation mission, the arm utilizes precision motor control for object interaction. Inverse kinematics and PID algorithms ensure that the arm functions exactly as the operator commands and with ease. The arm also utilizes multiple microcontrollers to split computation and reduce input delay. Video from the cameras is sent back to mission control and displayed on a custom UI to make controlling the arm easy and intuitive for the operator. The manipulation subsystem consists of an arm made from three aluminum members, the bicep, forearm, and wrist. This ensures that we are able to achieve high levels of stability and precision without sacrificing any power to rotate the arm and payload. The bicep and forearm are connected by joints driven by electromechanical linear actuators, which allow for precise movement, and with the addition of forearm hooks, the arm can easily lift objects weighing over 5 kilograms. The claw utilizes an acme screw to drive a pinch mechanism that can grasp objects up to 14 centimeters in diameter and is mounted on a slip ring assembly that allows continuous 360 degree rotation. In the delivery mission, the rover navigates uneven terrain using a redesigned double bogey wheel chassis. The rover is currently using inflatable beach balloon wheels which improve traction on loose surfaces and are durable on rough terrain. During chassis design, the team analyzed the center of gravity and clearance to reduce risk of high centering on rocks. Initial mobility testing has demonstrated the stability of the double bogey wheel chassis design with the arm installed. The team has driven the rover on loose dirt slopes and rocks without any stability issues. This year, the science system was redesigned as part of the new chassis. Previously mounted at the front or top of the rover, the science package is now centrally located beneath the electronics box for improved stability and space efficiency. The collection system includes a drill on a linear actuator that moves an auger vertically to extract samples. The auger is housed within a sealed tube with a window that evacuates all soil above the collection depth. Underneath the rover, a rotating carousel holds four sample containers in an environment appropriate for either analysis of proteins and amino acids in the regolith or fluorescence-based bacterial detection. The carousel's threaded attachment allows secure sample containment to meet planetary protection protocols. The science cameras provide close-range and panoramic in images for visual analysis of geologic features as well as interpretation of chemical analyses. Testing has validated auger performance, sample containment, chemical analysis, and fluorescence detection across varied soil types. The autonomous system is built on ROS2, integrating multiple nodes for sensor input, motor control, and navigation. Nodes communicate through an interconnected network, handling tasks such as publishing sensor data, adjusting wheel speeds, and detecting Aruco markers. Each node is programmed in Python or Rust. Navigation to GNSS coordinates is managed by a PID controller, continuously adjusting the rover's bearing for precise movement. As the rover encounters obstacles, real-time sensor input allows the navigator node to adjust wheel speeds and avoid collisions. Aruco tag tracking begins with image capture using an Econ System C3 Cam 24 CUG camera with OpenCV based adaptive thresholding, ensuring reliable detection of varying light. The rover dynamically adjusts its heading based on detected tags, initiating a search algorithm if no marker is found. For object detection, the system uses a custom YOLO V8 model trained on an original dataset. Image data is processed to generate bounding boxes, guiding the rover toward identified targets. A custom TUI logs navigation data and initiates input of new coordinates and marks. Marker IDs, streamlining mission completion.